This is 5-Minute Power Platform, and today we're going to talk about identifying authenticated users and Power Virtual Agents, both setting up the authentication, but then once someone's authenticated, how do you find out who they are, what their name is, their email address, and so on. Now, I didn't come up with any of this method. I'm just showing it. Uh, actually, I first read it on my fellow MVP, Thomas Poschek's blog. He's got some amazing stuff on there, and in this case, he's got a, a detailed blog on how to set this up, both the uh, Power Virtual Agents authentication and then what to do with someone once they're authenticated. And so I'm just showing his method. It involves a lot of Azure AD, and I thought for people that are less familiar with Azure AD, seeing it walk through might be helpful. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have, once Power Virtual Agents identifies a topic, we're gonna have them authenticate the user. And then once the person's authenticated then, we can get their uh, identity through uh, Microsoft Graph. We'll pass the authentication token into Microsoft Graph, and then with that, we get their UPN, their identity that we can then pass into Office 365 users. And at that point, we have access to their name, their email. We can look up their manager and all sorts of things like that. And in this case, we're going to return that to Power Virtual Agents. We're just going to do their name so we can personalize the response and their email so that we can confirm like where we would send a transcript of the conversation, something like that. Okay, we will, of course, start in Power Virtual Agents. Let's create a new bot for this one. So I'll create a new bot. Call this one uh, PVA Video and create. Now once the bot is created, we'll come over here to manage and set up authentication. And when you go to authentication, if you haven't done this before, the first time there's a lot of fields in here that uh, are not very clear what they mean. But the nice thing is, if you're setting it up for Azure AD, so authenticating to Office 365, most of them have, a, have the, uh, just a static value that we'll copy and paste in. And then the other ones we can easily get from Azure AD, and that's what we'll walk through now. So we'll give this connection a name. So I'll call this PVA video. And then we'll skip down here to the uh, scope list delimiter, and we're going to set that up, which we'll is just put in a comma. And these are all available from either Tomas's blog or from, uh, at, from Microsoft's documentation. So I'm just taking them from there, and I have them in the description of this video as well. So for the authorization URL query string template, I'm just going to paste this in again from, uh, from the blog or from uh, Microsoft's documentation. And then for the query string template here, that's a question mark for the token URL and the token body template is this, this string from uh, the docs or Tomas' blog. And then down here, the query string template is a question mark. The refresh body template is uh, this again from those other sources. And then the scopes is the open ID. So now we need to fill in these last one, two, three, four, five blanks. And those come from Azure AD. So let's start setting this up in Azure AD. So I'm gonna click on the waffle. Uh, I'm gonna right click and open up admin in a new tab so we don't lose our settings that we already started. And then down below, show all, come into Azure AD. And so clicking on Azure Active Directory, we're gonna create a new app registration. So I'll click new registration. We'll call this one PVA video two. And then here, we're gonna limit this to logging in only from people within my tenant. And then I'll click register. Now the first thing we're gonna do is come to clients and secrets and create a new client secret. We'll call this one PVA video. We'll let it last for just a year. This won't even last even that long. And then here's our secret. Now here's the thing, you need to copy this right away because you won't be able to see it if you navigate away and come back. So copy that. Let's come back to Power Virtual Agents and let's plop that in here in our client secret. Okay, so a couple more things to do in Azure AD. So now we're going to uh, go into API permissions and we're gonna add a permission. And ours is for the Microsoft Graph so that we can identify this person. It's gonna be delegated because we're gonna be trying to log in as that person. And then we're gonna add in OpenID. And then let's grant admin consent here too. That, that way that when the user first uh, logs in, they won't have to then say, hey, do you grant permission? We can do that on behalf of everyone. That simplifies the step. And then let's go and come in here to authentication. We're gonna add a platform. We're gonna add web. That's how we're gonna come through from the bot. And then we'll need to add in this redirect URL. This is also from the Microsoft Docs. And we'll just paste this in here. And we're gonna pass in, uh, we're gonna grant access tokens. And then we should be all set up. And so now we can start then, we can come up here to overview. And let's first take this application client ID here. We can copy it by clicking this button. And we're gonna paste this here where it says client ID on our bot. So now we just have these one, two, three URLs. And so coming back here to Azure AD, we click on endpoints and we have the authorization endpoint. So we can copy that one and that goes here in the authorization URL. And then we have the token and refresh. Those both use the same one. They use this token endpoint. So we'll copy that and then we'll paste that one here and we'll paste it here. And now we can save. 
So once the bot is saved, it reminds us to test it. So let's come up and let's create a new test. Create a new topic and we'll call this uh, send a chat transcript. Transcript. And we'll do uh, just one trigger phrase because we're just going to test this out. We'll say uh, send a transcript and we'll add that. Let's go to the authoring canvas. So the, we'll have the bot say first, uh, you must log in. And then we'll add an action. And we'll use this authenticate card. So it gives us a whole setup for handling uh, if the user successfully authenticated or not. And it gives us these two variables, is logged in, true or false, and the auth token. And that auth token has a lot of things encoded in, in it about the, about the user and a way to verify it. And that's what we're going to pass to Graph. It's going to do all that work for us. So let's save this and let's test it. I'll use our trigger phrase at the top here, send a transcript. And then we should see this going through. It should prompt us to log in. So the way it works to log in now, you click log in. It's going to try to log you in if you're not already logged in. And so see, I found it was already logged in. It gave me the six digit code. I can copy, close this window and paste it. And then that will verify that I am, uh, I am logged in to the bot. Now I found sometimes when I was testing this, I would get an error at this point. Even if I set up everything right, if that happens to you, first try closing out the window completely, coming back in and test it again. I found that that would usually fix the problem. Um, it's just kind of a confusion as you set up the authentication. But now that I'm logged in, now we have everything we need then to uh, send this into Power Automate flow into the Microsoft Graph. And so to do that, let's open up a new window here. And so we'll go into Power Automate. And now our flows have to be in a solution to use them with Power Virtual Agent. So let's create a new, new solution. So we'll click plus new solution up at the top. We'll give this a name, we'll call this PVA video. I've already got a publisher to find. You can use one of the default ones too. It won't really matter for this. And then click on that solution to open it up and you're gonna add a new flow. And I'll just call this uh, PBA video, identify user. And so we're gonna use the Power Virtual Agents trigger and we're gonna add an input that's a text input. And this is gonna be the authentication key. And then once we have that, we're gonna send that into Microsoft Graph. Now there isn't currently a connector. And so what we'll do is we'll use the HTTP connector just to call the endpoint directly. So we're gonna call it using get. The URL is here. And then for the headers, we're gonna do a content type and it's application JSON. And then the only thing we need to do then is the authentication. It's gonna be raw because they're already authenticated and we're gonna pass in a bearer token. And then that's this authentication key that's gonna get passed in for Power Virtual Agents. So let's test this out now as it is. It's not done, but let's test it so far. So we'll save this and then we'll come back into Power Virtual Agents and let's add in that action. So PVA video ID user. Let's save this and let's test it again. Oh, that's right. I need to map the authentication token here. So here's the uh, variable that we're coming in. We're going to map that to the token. Now it should be able to save it. And that's going to then pass that token into our flow. So we'll give it our trigger phrase again, send transcript. So starting, we first must log in. We'll grab that six digit code from the login page, copy, paste this in here. It's taking this path that I'm logged in and then it ran the flow. And so now let's come back here and let's see what, how the flow turned out. So it ran the call and we look at the JSON that came out. We see here's my name, my email, all the stuff that we want. So let's copy this body. So I'm gonna do control C copy. And now we can use parse JSON to extract data out of that. So we'll do parse JSON. So the body that we'll send in is from the HTTP here, right here. And then the schema, let's generate it from that sample we just copied. So we ran the test and it generated this sample. So if I click done, it's gonna generate a schema for me there. And so now we have everything we need to go into the Office 365 Users Connector. And so let's do uh, get user profile. And what it wants is the user principal name. And so the UPN is right here, user principal name that came out of our JSON, that came out of uh, Microsoft Graph. 
So then out of here, then we get everything we get out of Office 365 users, which is a lot. For this example, we're going to send back the user's first name so we can personalize the bot and their email address so we can confirm that's where they want the transcript. So a new step, we'll send that back to virtual agents. And we'll add those outputs. So we'll say, uh, we'll send their uh, given name and we'll map that to then their given name here. And we'll also send their email address, email address. And we'll map that to the mail attribute from Office 365 users. So this should be ready to test again. Um, because we changed the outputs of it here, we'll need to um, come back here to Power Virtual Agents and we'll need to remove it and re-add it. So we'll come back in here and we'll add the action again. Video ID user, we'll map in the authentication token. We'll get these two variables out. So let's work on those then. Let's ask a question and we'll say welcome and we'll greet them with their given name. We'll say, should I send, should I email the transcript to you at, and we'll put in their email address. And then we'll ask them, the question will say yes or no, use a different email address. And then we'll save this as a var email question. And then if they say yes, let's just, let's just round this out. We'll uh, send a message. We'll say, okay, your transcript will be sent to you. And if not, then if they say they want a different address, then we'll ask a question and we'll say what email address should I use? And then we'll identify, so we've got this entity pre-built for email. And so that'll pull it out even if they put in a sentence. And so then we'll call this one uh, the new email. email. And then let's just send a message for that one as well. Okay, I'll use, and let's put in their new email address. Okay, so let's test this out then, just one final test. So we'll do send transcript. First, you must log in, so we'll click log in. Copy the code, close that window, and then paste. You're now logged in. Welcome. So it greeted me by my first name. Should I mail the transcript to admin at Power Apps Live? Say no, use a different address. And I'll say, please email me at phil at topmist.com. And so you can see that it pulled that out. And if I look here in the variables too, right, I can see var new email is just that phil at topmist.com, even though I put it in a sense that pulled out the token. And so in this way, you can not only set up authentication, but then once the user is authenticated, you can get information from Office 365 to personalize the message, to get contextual information like email, or even look up their manager and all that. I hope this was useful for you. I thought this is a really useful technique to really get a lot more value out of Power Virtual Agents. Thanks for watching.